What's up guys, it's Fandiril here and this video will be a tutorial on how to do a wet dream. Many of you are ask asking me in comments how do I do the wet dream, why do I always use a mumu, how, how to stack the minions, so I'll try to answer all these questions. So first of all, basically you need the Amumu because of his tantrum passive. On the fifth level of tantrum it reduces the physical damage taken by 10. If you add an armor to this, a significant amount of armor, it will basically make a minions deal zero damage to you. So who else you need? In this case we have Lysandra, I did a Lysandra wet dream recently, so I have this replay. Basically she is just AFKing till like 60 minutes, 65 minutes, when she to the point when she get her items. So what do I get? I just get the spell thieves and the avaries, so I get passively some more gold. And on the other side we have the Tristana, which is basically doing the wave clear duty. Why do I use Tristana? It's because he's probably one of the best AD carries in terms of clearing the minions, because mostly because of her E and her Q. So, what will be the what should you do to do a wet dream? So first of all, you need to like proxy farm like you see right now in the video for first like 10, 11 minutes. Let me like skip a little bit further to like 11 minutes. So at around 11 minutes, when your Tristana has probably enough items for enough gold for Renan's Hurricane and the Bloodthirster. Uh, you should let her take the first turret here, like I'm just doing, right? So after this I'm just executing and you want this one turret uh, taken down so your Tristana doesn't randomly die to a turret while she's clearing the minions later on. So at this point it's Amumu turn to push. I, uh, When we do it the Amumu takes two turrets so he can stack them in this place like I do in my videos. So you will see that in a short moment. So what would be the Amumu's build? So basically what you need is like to be safe you probably need around 400 armor. So as you can see Amumu will probably start getting his armor right now. Yeah, you can go for frozen hearts, they give you 90 armor and just like in a, you can either go for them, you can stack some warden mace because they are cheap armor or just get the chain vest because I think they are like the most effective ones to to get your armor. So you will need around 400 armor, you pro probably can get a little bit less, in this case we have almost 500 so it's way more than needed. So after this you position your AD carry on the other side which is Tristana in this scenario uh, behind the Amumu, so she's basically gonna uh, stay proxy farming all the time and here uh, near this point I use this point where exactly uh, is Amumu standing right now so it's here and it's working well for me but probably there are some other good points that you can use but I'm just sticking with this one so what's gonna happen now basically you can AFK as both Tristana and Amumu in this scenario because if any minions are attacking you you won't get the liver buster warning. So the Lysandra will get this hit every like 3 or 5 minutes and get warnings. But you don't really need to care about her because you can reconnect later in the game. So right now all you need to do is just Amumu standing by. Uh, don't turn off your attack animation or just press S for stab. And that's how it goes on. So we'll skip a little bit further to like 40 minutes. So as you can see, that's how it looks 20 minutes later. As you can see there is a huge wave all the way to the Nexus already. But don't worry, minions will still be spawning, so there is no reason to worry about it. And what now? So let's let's get to the place where we start the wet dream more likely. So as you can see the minions are, are stuck all the way to the Nexus, all surrounding them, you have a lot of them. but you don't have to really worry about them escaping and killing this tower but that's the reason I leave this tower because if some minions escape now or later on it, the tower will protect the inhibitor so so let me see we're at 7 minutes right now 
we usually start it like around 60 or 65 when we have enough gold for the items. Right now I'm pretty sure I have enough yeah, for a full build Lysandra. So, so what do you need to do now? So you have all the minions stacked right in this, but you want them to be in one place. And how do you do this? I think Amon should do it in a moment. So there are a few ways to do it. You can either flash and all the minions from here will move. Let me just turn the interface because I don't think it would be needed. So you can either flash and the minions will move, but you can expect a lot of them to escape. And the safer way is to have ghost, because if you have ghost, you can just move slightly. In this scenario, Amon was trying it first time, so he moved a lot, but Sometimes even popping ghosts is enough to make them minions. So basically you will want to Yeah, pop the ghost and move like here like a tiny bit not like the in this scenario, but move like a tiny bit I was Sorry move like a tiny bit and then some minions will escape you have to deal with this But in this scenario you can see there are visual bugs which basically uh, Make the minions go, but they don't even exist so you don't have to worry about it so, as you can see, all the minions from here will slowly, as I'm forwarding, gather around Amumu. That's how it works. Sometimes, after like, if you wait too long, the minions will do it your, uh, themselves and you don't have to even ghost or flash or whatever. So yeah, right now you have st them stacked. Some of them will escape, but that's w where you already use your wet dream champion. So, you may struggle if you use like some of the AP ones like fiddlesticks because he doesn't really have much wave clear except for his own so he actually may uh, struggle with clearing the minions and the tower may fall but yeah in this scenario what you need to do now basically in a moment I'm not gonna show you right now because as you can see the game has crashed because of all the minions but what's gonna happen next is you, what you already see on the camera is that the Lysandra is gonna pass it here to here and from there there is, there is just gonna be the wet dream. But all the replays can handle so many minions so all you, you have to record it with like uh, some of the screen recording software like OBS or Fraps, it's your choice. So what else, like one more thing is why do I get ghost on the champion I do wet dream with it's because the, if you pop the ghost you will ignore the unit collision if you try to move through this without a ghost or like a phantom dancer that will ignore the unit collision you're basically be gonna screw it so that's why I'm using it I don't really think it's that necessary but it surely helps a lot so I'm pretty sure I already explained everything I needed. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed the video and don't like my voice too much. So have a good time everyone. Peace out.